So you might remember that the Mazda 3 got a facelift back in 2016 already. But it's been a while. I haven't done a video with it. So I thought let's get it back and show you guys what it's like. Mainly because, well, I flipping love this car. And I have since it first originally launched. I'm in the 2 litre Astina Plus, which is the top of the range model. So it's got sort of all the bells and whistles and your leather seat, etc, etc. And its engine gets you 110, oh, 121 kilowatts of power and 210 newton meters of torque. It doesn't have a turbo, so don't expect massive performance, but it's great at cruising. In fact, as you can tell, there's a suit behind me. I'm on my way to Grayton for a wedding. I am not wearing the suit, just in case you were wondering. And on the open road is where it's just so lovely and so comfortable. The ride is comfortable. The boot might not be as big as some of its competitors, such as the Golf or the Astra. However, let me tell you, if I can get a weekend worth of stuff in a car and still have space left over, that boot is big enough because I don't pack lightly. And uh, that is the case here. Yeah. I didn't even pack very well. I just saw my hoid it all in there. What is also impressive is even a couple of years on, this car is still so good looking and so striking. Um, it's also still so solid, very modern. Okay, that doesn't sound like the right quality was good, but it is. It's one of those interesting things that a new car can launch and within a couple of months, it starts feeling a bit old. This is a couple of years on and feels like any other new car that I've recently uh, reviewed. Space for the passengers in the back is sufficient. I've had my brother in there and he and he's a tall guy and he commented on the fact that I don't know if he's that tall actually but anyways he commented on the fact that um, it was very comfortable so that's a good sign just like an overall winning car. The steering is so light even the boot is light. I know that sounds random but I can't stand a heavy boot lid so sort of everything about this car is easy and practical and just oh go with the flow do you know what i mean oh a little warning sign that i can't go into the left lane oh now these peeps coming up to me all right let's be i'm gonna be a about it hi thank you what is this for moby in what that's a, that's, a, that's a massive pamphlet to read or to give someone at a, at a robot, don't you think? Or traffic light, sorry, South African robot. So this model is just over 415,000 Rand, brand spanking new. Um, so it's not on the sort of cheaper side. You can get a cheaper model, obviously. Like I said, this is the top of the range. So you still get the look and the feel and the ride and drive and stuff um, if you want one of the other cars. You don't need leather seats and all that shite. Why don't? The local band for all my overseas viewers. I'm now sort of putting my foot down like... So, like I say, it's actually perfect for cruising, but still the engine's not bad. It's got enough power. So take it for a test drive yourself. Don't listen to numbers. Oh, back to the tunes. I have no goal. I've got how slow it is. <laughs> I'm living shallow waters. I'm leaving all my dreams of you. I want to get away. Totally at the same 